So you want some last minute tips for GCC Chemistry Paper 1? Well, I got you, don't worry. I'm gonna tell you what I did to get a nine in this subject and also give you some resources that will help you a lot in terms of getting those long mark questions right and be able to go about those mark schemes because we all know how bad some of them can be. Now, speaking of mark schemes, the one thing I really want to get into your head is the fact that chemistry questions repeat all the time. And this is something that if you've been doing past paper questions for, you realize that the questions repeat themselves and they show themselves up in different ways, but the mark schemes just end up being the same thing. So there's a lot of definitions within chemistry, especially to do with like bonding and boiling points, melting points, and structure of molecules that just have the same marking points. And the best way to go about these questions and be able to learn the mark schemes for them is to try to find six mark questions. So one thing I want you to do right now is that even if you haven't done all the past papers or if you've even just done none, go to every single past paper and just look for six markers in them and try and memorize those six mark questions because they usually have a compilation of everything that you need to know within that topic. So for example, there's a really common six marker where they give you two different molecules. So for example, they give you an ionic compound and they give you a, I don't know, let's say a metallic compound and they ask you to compare the differences and similarities. Now, when they say the word compare, very, very important that you talk about the similarities and the differences, both of them. You wanna try to talk about the opposite ions attracting I remember they have to be specific when you're talking about ions, atoms, molecules, whatever. You have to be very, very specific in your wording. If you're vague or you say something wrong, you're not going to get the mark. So the first thing I want you to do is to look at those six markers. I'll try to leave some of them down below in the description if I find any or any on the screen right now as well that are common that you should know how to answer correctly. Okay, if you know how to do the six markers, you can probably do the two mark versions of them very well. So that's why I want you to focus on those six markers because learning those mark schemes will help you a lot, not only for these type of questions, but for the practical questions, learn those six markers as well because unlike something like biology in chemistry they do sometimes ask you the methods like straight up just give me all the steps for a certain practical so you do kind of need to be very familiar with how you carry out certain practicals like for example titration or um, the polystyrene cut practical I think that's in paper one if I'm not mistaken um, all of those you need to know how to carry out and you need to know why you do certain steps and really really importantly you need to know the control variables for them as well so if they do ask you a method question where you just have to state the method make sure at the bottom you put control variables this 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 okay you just want to do that just at the bottom just put that in that's free mark straight away another thing that might make it easier for the examiner as well if you just tell them this is the independent variable this is the dependent variable you don't need to memorize adding 10 centimeters cubed specifically okay you don't have to say exact amounts you can make them up as long as they're reasonable or you don't even have to write in volumes you can just say add like a few drops or add a small amount of like just you don't have to be specific with actual numbers in terms of the practicals themselves but when you're doing those other questions to do with bonding and structure and things like that those you have to be really really specific with your wording and there's always some things that are underlined in the mark scheme that you have to mention so that's why I really really want you to go and memorize those mark schemes so that's the written side of things just learning those mark schemes if you are confused on how to do those apart from the six markers what you should do you should go through like all the exam questions as well and look for those kind of repeated questions so the more practice you do in terms of topic questions you're gonna be very very familiar with the ones that repeat themselves a lot and if you start seeing questions repeating make a note of them and try and memorize those mark schemes for those ones especially if it's just a definition of something if you have to just define and relative atomic mass for example the mark scheme is always the same thing you just need to be able to remember them and so that when you go into your exam you could just literally blurt it back out and obviously because this is the physical paper there's a lot of maths within this paper as well especially within the quantitative chemistry topic so you're gonna have to learn how to do that as well now if you're ever stuck on doing those long maths questions so if it's like a six mark maths question or so what I always recommend for you to do is to just try and work out the moles of everything if you can okay so you should be able to do a moles calculation that's straightforward enough if you don't even know where to get started as long as you just find the moles of everything and you just try and find any concentrations or anything like that you'll get yourself a few marks just like that okay so even if you have no clue what's going on even if you know you're gonna get zero out of six for those you can at least do some random moles calculations and just multiply things and you're going to be more than likely getting a mark or two at least okay this is like worst case scenario if that situation happens at least there's a few ways you can get a few couple marks so you can boost up that grade a little but obviously we don't want to get to that stage okay so if you know that quantitative chemistry is not your strong point then that's a perfect time for you to get Get those topic questions in and just practice that so the main thing I want you to do in terms of revision for chemistry is memorizing those six mark questions and any sort of repeated questions but also to just do lots and lots of topic questions as well because that would be the best way you can just get really familiar with the question types and you just know how to do all the different topics so just go through every topic one by one right now if you only have like a couple hours before your exam and you just don't have the time to do topic questions that's okay what I want you to do instead is to just look at past papers and just look at mark schemes try and 
find long questions and just look at the mark schemes for them and try and memorize them. That's what you should do if you have no time left, okay? But if you do have time, try and actually sit down and do questions on each and every topic and try and practice them. A lot of you guys are probably going to be watching this on the day of your exam. And so in that case, if you could just find people doing walkthroughs of these questions maybe, or you just find those six markers specifically and just try and practice those, that would be enough for you. And also leading up to your exam, one final thing I do want you to do as well is to look at a video of someone going through each and every practical just because you need that practical knowledge to be fresh in your mind when you get into your exam so just watch someone doing each and every one of these practicals and try and see exactly why they do every step and try and look at the control variables and try and know what they're doing and why they're doing because a lot of the times they might just give you the method and they tell you why did they do the step here and you need to be able to know okay and if you don't know you can literally just go to ChatGPT, just paste the method in and ask it why do you do this certain method here and it will give you the answer so remember to go over those practicals right before your exam as well but also to go over those six mark questions and apart from that that's all you can really do at this stage and this is genuinely what I did for my exam it's what helped me get the nine at the end so that's what I recommend for you guys to do and apart from that I want to say good luck because now we're in our second week of exams we're getting through this slowly and it's going to start speeding up from now on first week usually goes quite slow but after that it starts getting a bit faster so good luck guys for this paper and I'll see you guys very soon bye